Okay. How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to show you the render queue in Reaper. Now, if you haven't yet, I made a previous video on rendering. And if you get a little confused during this video or want to see rendering in more detail, go back and check out that video, which you can click on right over here. So to go to the render queue, we can go into file and choose it right here. Show render queue. And right now it's empty because we haven't added anything to the render queue. We could do that from the render dialog right over here. Render. And right from here, we could choose to open the render queue, which is the same thing. And of course, it's still empty. So let's change that. Let's say we're working on a song with a lot of tracks, and we're ready to mix it down, and we have to render a lot of files to do that. Perhaps we're working on a movie, or a video game, or a TV show or commercial, or even a music production, where the label or the artist wants many versions to choose from. So in that situation, we're going to have to render a lot of files, which takes a lot of time if we have to sit and watch each one go by. And that's where the render queue comes in. We could set them all up at once and render them all while we take a break, go get some coffee or run some errands. So it's a great time saver because it'll do all the rendering and we don't have to sit here and watch it. So let's go through some. Let's say we want to bounce this as a final mix. We go up here to master mix, choose entire project and give it a name. I'm going to use the wildcard project name which is named Rock Song, right up here, Rock Song. Then I'll name it Mix Number One. And let's put it in a folder named Mixes. So it's gonna create a folder under Rendered Files named Mixes for this mix. We'll keep the sample rate at 44.1 and stereo. And our output format will be WAV, and we'll choose 24-bit. Now, 24 bit is what I usually use to send to mastering. So let's label it that way. So I know what this file is for. And now, when it's good to go, instead of hitting render to render that one file, we go over here and hit add to render queue. So now, if we open the render queue, we'll see the render right here WAV file, two channel, 44.1, and 24 bit. And here's the name of the file. Rock song mix number one for mastering.wave. So if we wanted to render it now, you could choose it and choose render selected. But we're not going to do it now. We're going to do it all at the end. So let's close this and let's create another version. Another version I want to make is for burning to CD. So let's change the name of this for CD. And let's change the output format for our WAV file to be 16 bit. So it's the same mix, but with a 16-bit file. We'll save it in the same place. And again, instead of rendering it, we're going to add it to the render queue. Open the render queue, and there it is. Here's the file name, 44 kilohertz, 16-bit. So we'll close this. And now let's make another file for a reference. A lot of times if the client wants to hear it streaming from the internet, I'll make an MP3. So let's change this to MP3. And let's make the bit rate 192, which is pretty decent sound quality and keeps the file size pretty small. Now we'll save this as a reference also to the mixes folder. Add to render queue, open it up, and there it is. So you have three files that are based on the same mix. But where this really gets powerful is when we change the mix. For instance, let's say the client wants a vocal up. They want the vocal to be a bit louder, so let's create that option. Let's close this, go down to our vocals, and these two tracks here are the lead vocals. And the volume is set to minus 5 dB, and we're in trim mode. So even if there's automation on this track, 
we can still trim it right here. Now with vocal ups, I like to bring it up one and a half dB. So I'll change this from minus five to minus 3.5. So that vocal is one and a half dB louder. Let's do the same with this one. And now we could render this as a separate mix. Change this to vocal up. And let's put this back to wave 24 bit. And we'll keep it in the same folder. Add to render cue. And it's right there, vocal up. Now, another option that many clients want is an instrumental. Let's turn these vocals off by muting them. And let's turn off the background vocals too. Mute them. And now only the instruments are going to play our guitars, our synths and bass, and our drums. The lead vocals and the background vocals are turned off. So we can render this as an instrumental, and we'll keep everything else the same. 24-bit wave file. Add it to the render queue, and it's right there. Another option that's very popular is creating a TV mix. This is created by turning off the lead vocal, like this, but leaving the background vocals on. So if the singer is performing on TV, and they want to sing along with the track, they want the background vocals there too. That's why it's called a TV track. So let's render that the same way. Add to render cue. And the TV track is right there. So that's a bunch of mixes, but we could also create stems. Right here, choose stems based on selected tracks. So let's turn the vocal back on. And let's select some tracks to make stems of. Let's choose the live drums, the electronic drums, and the bass tracks. So we select all of them, go to rendering, choose stems for selected tracks, and let's change this to time selection. And we're going to select just from the intro up until the first chorus. So we're gonna create stems just for this section here on just the selected tracks. So we'll choose time selection. We'll change our wildcards to be project and our track name and also the track tempo. That'll make it easier for the person importing the stems. This way they know the tempo of the track in case they want to import it into their DAW. So the file name is going to be like this, rock song, kick, 132 beats per minute. And it's going to make 15 files, as you can see right here. We'll keep them as WAV files, 24-bit, but I'm going to choose this option right here. Tracks that are mono will stay mono, instead of making stereo files of each one. And also multi-channel tracks will be multi-channel files. So we'll turn those on, and we're going to make a new folder, instead of called Mixes, called Stems. So this is going to render 15 separate files based on each track. We'll add this to the render queue, and that renders right here. Our stems, starting with kick, plus 14 more. We could also render things based on their region. Up over here, these are called regions. The intro, the verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. These are the regions in the song. So we can render things based on those regions. We can choose the region render matrix, which we could open right here. And here we can choose what we want to render. All the tracks for the intro, the master mix for verse one, and anything in between just the kick and snare for pre-chorus one. Let's keep it simple. Let's make a master mix of each section or each region. So that'll create seven new files or seven mixes based on these sections of the song. And we'll name it accordingly. Get rid of the tempo and the track. 
And instead, we'll choose the region. So it'll be named Rock Song, Intro, and Verse 1, Pre-Chorus 1, and so on. And that's going to create seven files. And once again, we'll add it to the render queue. But first, let's create a separate folder for the regions. Now we could render it. We could turn these off. And that render is saved right here. Rock song intro plus six more files. And finally, we could also render selected media items. So let's say we cut up this deep kick track. Let's make it bigger. And let's say we split it using dynamic split. And that cut it based on each hit. And let's say we wanted to render each one of these items. Let's select them from here to about here. And now we can render just the selected media items. We'll tag them using the wildcard items, and we'll put them in their own folder called items. Now let's make these files AIF files, and we'll make them 24-bit. And that's going to create 32 new files based on where they were cut up. We'll add that to the render queue, and that's right here. So now, we have a whole bunch of files to be rendered. So that's going to take a while to do. So rather than sit here and do each one, we can go get some coffee, make some phone calls, rather than sit here and render each one. But before we do that, let's undo this, where we split it. Let's make the size smaller. Let's go back to our vocal and fix that. Back to minus five. Same with this one. And now we can render all those mixes, stems, items by going over here and choosing Show Render Queue. Now we can choose some of them just to render the selected ones or render them all. So now if I hit Render All, it's going to render each one one at a time. And one of the coolest parts of that is that each time we hit Add to Queue, it saved the state that Reaper was in. So it's going to recall it exactly how we left it off. For instance, when we made the TV track, it turned off the background vocals. Or the instrumental, it turned off the lead vocals and the background vocals. Or the vocal up, it raised the lead vocals. So Reaper saved it exactly how it was set up when we hit Add to Render Queue. So let's do it. Render all. And it starts off, it's rendering all the deep kick media items. Now it's doing the regions. Verse 2, pre chorus 2, and chorus 2. Then it did the stems. Now it's doing mix 1 TV track. Now it's doing mix 1 instrumental right here. Now it's doing mix number one with the vocal up. Now it's rendering our reference MP3. Now it's creating mix number one for the CD. And finally, mix number one for mastering, which is the 24-bit WAV file I'll be sending to mastering. And it's all done. So I can go to my directory. And here are the rendered files, nicely organized in folders. Here's the items, all the deep kicks, 1 through 32, our mixes for CD, for mastering, the reference MP3, the instrumental, TV track, and vocal up. The regions, chorus 1, chorus 2, intro, the pre choruses, and the verses. And finally, our stems. All name rock song, the name of the tracks, and the tempo. So it's a great time saver 
because Reap is going to render all these tracks all at the same time, and we don't have to sit here while it does it. So anyway, that's the render queue in Reaper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.